Hey everybody, welcome back. Workers of Resources. I hope you're having a great day today. Prison buses, up to this point, have been going here to pick up prisoners. Uh, to send them to the coal mines way over there. We don't need them to do that anymore, though. Because uh, there's basically no prisoners in this prison anymore. They are all being shipped pretty much over to the other one. So there's only four in here. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to say that these prisoner buses, which has a route like this, right? All these prisoners here are no longer going to go to this prison. Instead, we're going to have them go to this prison. And that is a much, I think you can see that, much shorter route to picking up prisoners and dropping them off at the coal mine. So now we have prisoners going this short distance up to the coal mine. There'll be three prisoner buses and they're just going to make that trip back and forth. So that's no big deal. It looks like there is also a very small patch of road right here that did not get to be gravel. So they get to slosh through the mud when they get out of the prison too, I guess. That'll just be the way it is. So welcome back to our glorious Republic we're at nearly 13,000 people. Happiness and health have been largely restored. Secret police in Cernakova is at full uh, is operating at uh, full force now. At least I hope it is. Uh, we have plenty of garbage collection and stuff here. There's a little bit of metal scrap being collected over here too. I didn't anticipate that, but it does look like we do get a little bit of metal scrap over here, which is kind of interesting to me. Either way. Uh, these guys should be able to tell us how loyal everyone is over here. We can see that this one is 51% uh, on average, 67%, 65, 65, 52. Uh, looking pretty good. So we have a pretty good grasp on our civilization here. And most of these places now are, as you can see, getting quite full. So because they're getting really full, we don't really need to like micromanage where they work anymore, I don't think. But we'll go ahead and just tell them to work wherever they want to work now. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll have a couple places that are, are like, dedicated. But, uh, well, know, we'll see how they go. All right, let's see how they do flying solo. May even want to get a few more houses over here. But uh, we should see this winter that heat is going to work out just fine. We should see it anyway. Sewage tank being overfilled is a problem. So we'll have to put that in, I guess, first. Because apparently this is not... In range it is slightly further back and so that probably means that the sewage tank i put in before is just not good enough so we're gonna have to put in a sewage tank right over here this will cover the hospital and the heating place well uh sorry not the hospital the uh prison we cover the prison and the heating place yeah there we go uh i like it to be closer All right about as long as it still covers the prison yeah Still getting the prison? Yeah, right there. So let's put it right about here, I think. It's a little closer for the sewage trucks to go and get. Right there ought to do. All right. We're not going to put hardly anything in this little area here. So that's going to be where this goes. And we'll just put a small little walking path like that in there. And we'll kick the priority of this uh, construction assignment up to 11 here. And uh, hope that that works out. The construction office right here make sure that you're getting yeah from the bus platform okay good so we should have a lot of people coming to the bus platform hopefully to uh provide labor for construction projects like that as we go so hopefully we see a good amount of people in heating we don't have a whole lot of warders i, I think i may actually need to dedicate one of these houses to that so why don't we say that you go straight to the bus stop you you too i think we're both gonna have let's have you Let's, let's make sure that we're good here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Eating plant and bus platform, uh, just to make sure that you guys really get over here. Okay. All right. Let's talk about some quinky dings. All right. Little tiny things that we need to adjust to get ready for our little chemical adventure. I'll call it. All right. We have pretty much all this stuff done. So just gonna get rid of all the extra roads and stuff. I've done that already for some of these things. Like, this has no road connection to it anymore, right? And we have this these power lines that are running right up the middle here, and I may want to move those because I think they're going to be kind of a nuisance. Uh, they are providing power to this, which is currently not serving anything, it doesn't look like. It's not doing anything. That's good news. Uh, I don't know why it's not doing... It's, it's, this is powering all this, so maybe it's just not doing anything. Um, also composting plant 
need to update you on this too the composting plant is now back to being functional back to working as it needs to so biological waste can be taken here now we're gonna get fertilizer and uh hang on a second why are you loading fertilizer hold on uh okay what hold up here hold up here where are you taking this okay that is a really bogus route how long have you been doing this <laughs> i think you're supposed to be taking the biological waste but now that everything is just fertilizer you're just doing fertilizer only so a uh, great time to show you a new route that i have uh put in place here and it's going to be all the way it's probably one of these trucks no one of these trucks over here are going to be doing it now oh, you're sitting right here okay so these two trucks they have a new route and we're actually going to apply this route to this other truck and honestly we're going to apply it to any other truck that might be on the same route as you just you okay that's a weird that's a weird truck i don't know how that happened so you should be going to this one yep you should be dumping it off right there right now so these garbage trucks what they are doing all right there's three of them now i thought they were all going to be this color but i guess there's one that's a different color now what they're doing is they're picking up the fertilizer from here all right and they're going to bring it over to there and drop it off so that we're going to have fertilizer local to those farms we wanted to farm over there if you remember this is the stand for big garbage containers this is the one right next to the bitumen tank isn't it yeah these two here are are like that they they do that sometimes i don't care um so we want to start farming over here i was going to do it this year but i got kind of distracted by the whole Cernakova situation and forgot to buy the machines the mechanisms for the farm over here my bad totally forgot to do that uh there is one more thing i wanted to take care of some people pointed it out there is going to be a uh a uh, city right here we're going to build a town right here that's going to manage like fire coverage for the farm and stuff but at the moment we don't actually have fire coverage for the farm uh somebody you know brought that to my attention and i think that's a pretty good thing to look at um i don't think it's an urgent matter but i mean having to rebuild that farm yeah it would be a pain in the butt but like what are the odds that that catches fire right fire is going to randomly affect the building there's an awful lot of stuff that it could affect what's the what, what are the odds that it affects that over there right <laughs> i'm gonna roll the dice i might regret that um and i'm gonna wait for us to get our town over here it just needs to be a little town doesn't need to be uh all that big of a deal we're gonna design that probably in like two or three videos from now um so over here we want to do walking paths here and then i want to discuss what the plan is over here because i think i need to move this this long wire that's going right through the middle but if i can get around moving that then i will because anything i don't have to deconstruct would be very nice to, to have done uh, i don't i said that really weirdly i don't want to deconstruct anything it'd be very nice not to have to deconstruct anything um i've got power lines running to this it just needs to be built and then it's actually going to a switch here which is going to let me uh push power up this way um so I'm, what i'm hoping to see is that if i if i do take care and get rid of all of this uh, i could potentially hook it up over here as another connection because i've used now all my connections on this transformer okay so let's talk about walking paths over here first I think that's a good idea to do walking paths over here are going to need to be a mixture of bridges and tunnels to get people where they need to go from a distance from the bus stop right here so anywhere in here it should be within walking range easily in a straight line but they're not necessarily walking in a straight line so you can see from pretty much everywhere they would ever have to work it is easily within walking distance from this bus stop but again not necessarily a straight line we want to make it as straight of a line as possible and that means using tunnels so if we take a look over here we can see that most of the in most of the ways to get in over here is on this side we're going to use that to our advantage we also have a tunnel going through here though so we're going to have to be above ground at least a little while over here and i think for this particular path it's not that big of a deal to go in with the the train track that part's pretty dang easy if i get around the power pole that i put here oh yeah that's not a good thing is it no i'm wondering what happened there did i did it just disconnect this is it these two i think it's just these two that didn't get connected together remember i messed it up last video and i, I don't think i fixed it yet 
Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay, no big deal. So, tell you what, we'll go like this. We're going to bring in this as an asphalt path that comes all the way from this side. And we're going to use asphalt so that I can tap into it easy from, from the bus stop, too. Uh, just to help it with its, its speed. Let's go maybe like that and then like that, okay? The way in is here, but we don't need them to walk into these. We just need them to get access to it direct. So um, from this point, it's pretty easy just to do this. And I think that that's a good path. That'll let them in just fine. They could also just walk to the road here, but whatever. Uh, the ones I'm really concerned about getting into is over here. So I think maybe we look at that next. From over here, this is really tight, but I can get a walking path through there. That's good. I need to also think about bridges over top of this. Could could look cool. Um, but the, the, the pedestrian underpass, I think, is just simply better in basically every way. Um, aside from building cost, right? So, like, if I can get over top of it, then great. But it still costs me steel. Where these are more brick-heavy things, too. The underpasses and stuff are more brick-heavy and not steel-heavy. So, like, this is only one ton of steel for just this part. But this part, the actual bridge part, costs quite a bit of steel. So if we can go underneath, I think I, I probably will. It makes things a lot easier. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot going on underneath anyway. I think we're going to need sewage through here too. And, uh, and and water and everything. So like that's that needs to be sorted out as well in this video. So I'm looking at, I'm thinking... Maybe if we could bring pedestrians above ground and then all the utilities and stuff can be below ground. That I think that might work out better. So let's, let's try it. I'm going to... Gonna, make a decision now <laughs> and uh I know. what's shocking i know he's gonna make decisions hang on to your butts we're making decisions uh we're gonna say that you oh man you're not gonna you can't go through here at all because of the power lines you might have to do a mixture of bridges and tunnels to get people in here um so maybe on this side we can do a bridge if it lets me do it. Let's see. Can I do a bridge like this? Okay. Can you do it here, though? Yes? Yes. You'll do it here. Perfect. Okay. So we'll do a bridge like this. And that gets them over top of this. All right. So that part's fairly inexpensive. Uh, yep. Like that. And then we want you to come over like so. Okay? That get, that's pretty good. Uh, you're going to go this direction and then over like that. And then also like that. That gets us into these two buildings really easily. Uh, and relatively inexpensively. So that's good. Um, for the general processing here, um, you're going to have to... Maybe we can get you off of this. Can you go under here? Oh, man, I really wish you could walk under that. It certainly looks like you should be able to. You're not going to let me. All right, what about on this side? Just go to the road? I think we just go to the road. Yeah, that'll work. Fine. Okay, so we'll get to take care of that. Uh, probably could have made that gravel, but I'm just going to make them all asphalt anyway. I don't I don't really care. Uh, let's see. This building needs a connection, and I think if we turn this into... If we leave this as an actual road, this is paved now. So if we, let's say we pave this too. You know, why not? Let's pave that too. And then uh, and we want to pave this as well, I think. Get that paved, that paved. Oh, hell. Pave it all. <laughs> just, just, just do it, man. Just pave all of it. It's all getting paved. Everyone's getting asphalt today. You're welcome, all of you getting asphalt. Look at all of these asphalt roads. Yes, all of you getting asphalt. You, other other office. You're gonna pick up some slack too here. Here you go. Yeah, good, okay. Asphalt roads for everyone. Uh, Cause we're not really working in here yet anyway. But if we do that, I think probably it would be okay to just connect this here and then let them walk from there. I, I think they'll have the walking range to do it. Um, in case they don't though, Maybe we do take an asphalt path this way. Just to give that little extra distance. You know, like that. Yeah, just to give a little extra distance, we'll go there with it. 
uh over here let's see so these these are the other two buildings where i'm not sure if we can reach them without a tunnel um because they're really far away so we're gonna say it's not so much that they're far away it's that there's a lot of stuff really low on the ground before you get to them so i'm thinking probably it is better to just let there be a tunnel here we have at least one at least one tunnel in this republic i think so it's gonna be this one we're gonna put it right there and then on this side we're gonna put a tunnel like this and we'll put it like right there and then this tunnel underground is gonna connect here pretty easy really easy really straightforward there um go ahead and put you like that for now and then we can pave this later um in fact why don't we just you can pave this part but not this part yeah we'll make this part make this part asphalt and then you're gonna need a little path to get there otherwise they won't be able to build it so we'll go like that uh and then this part here will be yeah asphalt path there and then from there we're gonna go you could just walk there over here you can go like that too okay i think that pretty much takes care of everything we need um we're gonna need labor for some of this stuff right so as we build like these tiny little pat walking paths here we're gonna need workers in that spot so let's make sure we at least mark that for uh getting workers in there in addition to our standard road crews that have to come in and drop the resources off for it right so in addition to that yeah okay all right so we've talked about walking paths and i think that pretty much takes care of it as long as we can pave everything get the asphalt in we're already starting to put gravel through here so they're just getting to work on that really quickly that's nice and uh that gets us workers to every location with the power lines running that should get us power to every location let's make sure i don't forget to do that again so it's like this and then over like that uh yep over like that i want to come straight yeah like that there we go and then uh from here to there and then from here over like that all right that gets me power to every building in this area uh, there is a one other connection right there i may use that if necessary but i think i would probably use it with a switch if i'm going to do it uh, just so I don't lose a connection over here. So if I'm going to do that, then I think what I'll do is maybe put this here. Make that connection go there. And then we'll take it from like a 1.5 or something. And we'll bring you this way. And hook you up. Like so. All right. That gives us power everywhere. Very good talk about water um because everyone's gonna need water and sewer you're getting water from there which is insane but that's great you're getting sewer already so we don't need water over here we we do need sewer uh you're confused because there's no road for you that's okay road crews will get it done soon um you don't have any water or sewer uh this place over here we can't see until it's finished you have no water or sewer and you have no water or sewer okay so couple of different water substations are needed then we're gonna say that right about that's the furthest point away so let's say that we get water from here this is clean drinking water mind you so we have to make sure we're pushing in the clean stuff here we'll put one there uh and then we'll also put one probably over on this side i think we can probably fit it uh actually you know what why don't we we're getting it these guys already have water on that side so I don't need to go too far. I think right here would be okay. If it fits. Can you fit here? No? Not gonna do it, huh? How about this side? Come on. Good enough? Good enough. Get a dirt path in like that. Okay. And that one's in there good. Okay, so that's our two water hookups. Let's talk about sewage really quick. Uh, most of these things do not have sewer. We're gonna need those. Uh, it's all walking past connections we have to, have to figure out where we're going to take the sewage because there's not really a whole lot of good places to take it here like we're kind of in the middle of all these locations but the original idea was to tap into this line so i mean i guess we could just do that 
maybe we can this is pretty low that's a pretty low line so uh we shouldn't have any problems let's maybe put a sewage switch over here and just so i have an idea of how high up we are here if i put that sewage switch yeah so we're pretty low we're gonna want to put that switch maybe further back let's say this whole area here is on a really low ground so like you gotta gotta be careful on where you're doing this at i think maybe we'll do it put the switch on this side we're gonna need a pump anyway i don't think we can avoid a pump honestly let's make sure the switch is at a really low point we'll say it's maybe right here pretty low all right we'll put the switch here 1.75 Yep. Let me have that. Okay. So 1.75 is, is where that is. I don't think there's a whole lot of places here we could need a sewage tank that's going to be lower than that. So I'm going to place a sewage tank on this side. Let's say right here. I need to cover all these buildings. So uh, in here would be okay. Right? If it fits. Come on. Can you fit there? How about here? You'll go there. Yeah, does that cover everything I need to cover? Yeah, but I could cover more if I just move it in more, right? Yeah, so how about we maybe put it here instead? What buildings are not covered by this? Is it just these two? Is there a spot where I get everybody? Uh, maybe. Yeah, actually right here. This area right here would get everybody think that's what i'm seeing then we don't need a switch at all if that gets everybody then we don't need to switch anywhere well we'll see when it's built um i'm gonna go ahead and put a pin in this tell them to not not build that just yet and we'll go ahead and make sure that construction crews are working on this stuff first yeah, we'll just get you connected like that. That's fine. Uh, let's make sure the construction crews are working on this stuff first. I want to see if that covers everything, because that's cool if it does. Then this single... We'll make it a medium pipe. There's not enough workers here to justify a large one. But there might be too many to justify a... And there might be too many to, to use a small one. So we'll do a medium pipe into this, uh, into this point here. And we will need a pump to do that. So we should probably just get ahead of it and build the pump already because we already know it's coming. So uh, we'll go five meters, Let's do a 10 meter one just to be sure. I don't remember the difference here, but that one being two, this is 1.75 meters down. And this one is at, oh, it's at four. Why, why did I think you were at like 10 or something? Okay, so fine. Uh, five meters down should be fine. And the pump, as long as it has access to power, we're good. And so it will be right about, right by the hospital. That sounds fine. Right about here. All right. And then the walking path will just go right there. So we already know that we need this. So let's just go ahead and grab our medium. Our medium pipe will take us into there. And that takes us all the way to dis discharge on that side. All right. So as long as we tap into that, we're good. Assuming that we don't need the switch and we can pump it in directly from just this point here, then that will just go directly to there. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's actually just mark that in for now. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll just put a pause on it until we know that this is good to go. All right. That takes care of water. Well, it takes care of the substations for water. The supply of water has to come from somewhere else. And I was going to use the water tower that's already over here right here this water tower so this water tower sending water out this way you may recall that we were on our way to send water all the way up the mountain and that's just silly we don't need to do that um so what i thought about doing instead is we'll take this entire line which in this case i think we probably should just deconstruct it all so we'll we'll mark this for complete deconstruction i guess um they'll tear this whole thing down but this instead is gonna go that way right and actually we already have 
I believe, clean water. This is 99% quality. We already have this. Never mind. I must have put this here with this idea in mind, and I just forgot. It's probably what happened. I'm going to say that's what happened. So we're going to take a, uh, a little pump here, because I may need another one. So let's put in a small, a big water pumping station is fine. We'll put in a little pumping station uh, right over, let's say, here. You fit next to this? Yeah, right about here should be fine. Put a little pump there. Because this stuff is all uphill anyway. Uh, and then what we're going to do is take a medium, I think. Yeah, a medium into the pump there. Okay, and then we'll do a couple of smalls to the different destinations we need to go. So there's one there. And it looks like that's it. Just this and this. Yeah, these two here. So instead of using a splitter, we'll use a pump. Because these are uphill from this right so this is 1.79 and then this right here is 2.4 and 2.3 okay, so the splitter is not gonna you gotta put you gotta make you gotta make water pressure okay so there you go uh so that will be our water solution i have to believe that i had that in mind when i put that water tower there because i that's just too perfect you know uh we don't want to mark this for construction yet all this stuff is good to go though we, we definitely want to do all of this uh okay so we let it run then, right? We let that happen. We let just everything work itself out. Up to 13 and a half thousand people and 0% unemployment. Clearly a bit of an issue here. We may get another issue, which is the lack of workers in coal. So now that we're no longer bringing people, did I show that? I did show that, right? I don't remember. Um, buses that are taking people to the coal mine up here, right? There's one bus that does this, right? That's it. Just the one. Everything else, the other three buses that were bringing people up here, they've all been redirected now to bring people into the oil refinery instead. And so in, do in so doing, we have now used, we have now consumed all of our available oil and uh, are now waiting. So that's a thing we don't need this many people anymore so we can bring this down to let's say 250 max <laughs> uh but there is the, the buses that used to be bringing them to cold will do this now i am noticing this happening let's take a look and see why so this is an end station and you're doing what now uh okay tell you what let's ah all of you are yes okay um no you will space your shit out that is how you will do that instead that is way too many vehicles to be going through this tiny end station so no we're not going to do that um the reason why this is on a separate route is so that this doesn't get bogged down but obviously it can get bogged down and it looks to me like this end station is simply too small I need a bigger one after all. I didn't think I would, but it looks like I do. So, uh, okay. So the refinery buses, this is part of the, yeah, this is going to the regular bus platform. There's some other ones over here that was going to coal. I think that's what these ones were. So maybe we don't need quite so many buses to incorporate the end station. Why don't we delete the stop from the route here and just to have a few of these buses not doing this, see what happens. And you know what? Tell you what, let's do this. We'll have every bus not use the end station, all right? All of these routes will stop using the end station. And then we'll go ahead and rebuild the end station instead, all right? So we don't want this to happen anymore. We don't want you to refill this with fuel. So what I'm gonna do, I, I'm gonna need to figure out which fuel station you are because there's going to be hazardous waste here if I tear this down because there's fuel in it. Um, so why don't we not deliver this? Let's have you go back to workplace, please. Don't don't deliver that. And then we're going to tear this down. Um, no. Hang on. Which distribution office are you? This one. I want to make sure that the end station is not a part of your route anymore. You don't do this anymore. So anybody bringing fuel here, quit it. 
pretty much. Uh, and then over here where the bitumen is, we'll have cars that are, we'll have trucks that are bringing that. Um, we're going to want to find, I think, just one of our oil tankers. Any random oil tanker will do. This one's fine. We're going to have you take fuel out of this. Load fuel. Oh, you can't do that. Really? Wow. So I can't... Oh, well, hey, here's what we can do. We'll just do this instead. Hey, yeah, we can still make this work. Um, we'll take this station here. All right, we'll add this. But we'll do so as a loading point. And that, now you'll load. Okay. Uh, and then once we load it up completely... Hold on. Nope. Go back. Go back home. Don't do it. Don't do it. Go back home. Once they, uh, once they load all the fuel from there, I can delete this and make a proper end station. I'll make a bigger one because I, I, there's just more buses using this than, than I thought there would be. Uh, this roundabout's done now, so let's take and make this the prideful one-way streets that they deserve. There we go, just like that. And then these are all done too, of course. Yep, so we could do this. Uh, we want to pave this. Let's get this construction started too. Yep, there we go. And then we need a little bit of a bypass just in case these guys who are coming this way need to get on this road. I want them to be able to do so. I guess they could do it here though. Well, whatever. I'm going to put this in here anyway. They might use it. Uh, but we'll get all this stuff paved and stuff too. There we go. I don't think any of these will need workers, but just in case. Yeah, maybe this little stint here does, so we'll get that marked too. I probably could just put this on auto search. You know, like I've been manually doing this for a long time, but I think I'm just going to put this on auto search and be done with it. There's a, not, there's a lot of workers here. There's plenty of people waiting for buses and stuff. Uh, there's the passenger buses, which are going back and forth, and we probably want to... Like, what are you guys waiting for, right? Drink alcohol. Drink alcohol. Drink, pray, drink alcohol. We have the... Didn't we get the bistro built? Like, two or three... Or no. No, we didn't. All right. The bistro will be a source of alcohol for people, too. Oh, wow. We don't have this done. That's why we didn't build it. We're going to have everybody on high priority. I want this built really quickly if we can, and then um, I can start getting people in here because that's a source of alcohol too. Uh, looks like we're just not delivering it though. Are we selling all of our alcohol? Huh? All right, now I'm lost. You're not buying any alcohol. You're not taking any with you. Where is all of our alcohol production? Missing crops. Oh, for real. Did you, not, did you not buy any? Oh, okay. I, I know what's happening here. It's taking you so long to unload that you just haven't done so in a long time. Next year, this problem is solved next year because next year we'll have all the crops from over there, right? We'll have all that stuff be moved over here uh, next year. I'm going to have trucks, my fuel rats and stuff are going to load up fuel in all of those uh, gas stations. So that we can uh, have all of those ready to go. And then uh, all the trucks and stuff will just do its thing. Uh, okay. So, in order to get the crops in here, I need you to go back to the border, please. And you're just going to sell. You're not going to load steel anymore. We have enough. Thanks, though. All right. That problem will get solved as soon as we bring crops back. So, that's why. That, they can't get alcohol because of that. And that's probably draining their happiness a little bit here. But we've reduced alcohol addiction down a lot. So it's possible that we're fine anyway. How about over here? Do we have alcohol stored here? We do. Yeah. So the good people of Cernakova will have their alcohol. <laughs> At least there's that going. Uh, let's make sure that we get an adequate number of people in here. I need to make sure that we keep these tanks good. And uh, I'm feeling like we just direct them specifically to the heating plant instead of the bus stop. We'll, we'll just do that instead. And if they complain about not having a job, that's, well, that's their problem. <laughs> that's not mine. 
<laughs> yeah, six people have no job in here. Six people. It's unspecified, so that's your problem, not mine. Uh, and then the National Uprising Museum is done. Very cool. I think there's probably a little bit of a gap in who can reach this. No, negative. There isn't. Funny. Uh, let's let's plan the passenger trains because there's still a passenger train station that needs to go in here too. Um, I don't think it needs to be super big like this, but because it gives me that extra distance, I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to say right about here is where this passenger train station is going to go. I just want to double check and make sure every house can reach this. Indeed it can. And the passenger train station can reach the university, which is a big deal too. So right there is where I want the passenger train station. Okay. So you might be wondering, how are we getting passenger trains in here? Well, we're doing so like this. So you see how this air area here, it all branches out, right? And it's going out that way. Well, it's also going to go out this way. So the reason why this can work, I know this is like maybe unconventional to what some people do for their train networks, but the reason why this can work is because it's all one-way tracks. The important thing here is that it's one-way tracks. We're not having trains going uh, in weird in weird places. Actually, it looks like I need to come back a little bit more with this. So we're going to have trains maybe come back from this side. Yeah, that, that'll be better. From here and then comes out this way. And then it's going to curve like that. There we go. So the one-way track is going to enable us to go from this side. We enter into the system here. We come this way. We don't interfere with anything because all the trains are moving the same direction anyway. It, they drop people off here. Then we come this way. And we meet up here. Because that's what I was hoping to do. gonna have to move this up just a little bit more that's fine with me pain signal there and then you meet up like uh like this like this we could actually bring it all the way around which might work better i think i'll do that instead yeah that'll work better because it gives me this extra buffer zone for the train to wait yeah, I like that more. Okay, so we'll try this. We'll come up like this. Since you're going this way anyway, we'll cross there. And then like that. And then we'll just have the chain signal for waiting be right here. Okay? And so now you'll enter in afterwards. We'll do a mixed signal for now just to make sure that it doesn't interfere with track builders. Uh, and same thing over like this. We're just going to do a signal like that. So it doesn't interfere with track builders. Although it still will, because it's all one way, right? So I guess it's it's whatever. Go ahead and mark that in. Track builders will build that. So as long as we can get a passenger train into here, then we can get them to right here. And so the passenger train will just come around, drop them off, and then go back and do what it needs to do. So we'll have a lot of loops, right? Passenger trains are all moving in the same loops with this system. Everyone's moving in the same direction. They're not going to interfere. There will be some trains that move opposite, but they're not going to be moving into this area. The, any, anything that comes into this area will be going from Cernakova out this way. And then from here, they can decide where they're going, but they're only entering from one side here, right? And then to make this to where we can potentially have multiple trains coming through, because that's a thing we might want to have, we can then branch this off from, let's say, here. Uh, we don't want it to wait here, so we'd have to have it... No, that's fine. We can just do it from right here right about here branch out and then into there and then around and into like this okay now potentially two trains can be in here at the same time they just use both sides but they're all still moving in the same direction so no conflicts okay yeah that's it uh lots of fuel there lots of fuel there let's just Everybody filled up. Um, you might be wondering, because I've had some people make a comment about this, and it appears as though you're correct. I thought this could feed directly into this, but it's looking like you need a pump between the tank and this, which is really weird. But it's looking like that's the case, because for what I'm, t what I can tell anyway, the helicopter construction office doesn't seem to be pulling. The I thought they would, they would pull, right? 
I'm gonna let them auto search now because they got a lot of fuel. Um, I thought this office would pull fuel in. It doesn't look like it's doing that. And so I did, I went ahead and I deleted the, the pipe that was connected directly here. This is just now serving as an extra storage, right? Which is good. We have overflow storage now, um, but it's not feeding directly in here. So the fuel rats are gonna, are taking care of this right now. These little trucks are taking care of this now. Yeah. Uh, so these guys have no route. Uh, you guys have uh, two extra connections. Let's see if we can make that happen. You should have a gas station over here. Let's, um, this isn't quite done yet. Let's go ahead and have you bring fuel here. Ah, I like it. Bring fuel here and unload right there. Yep. And let's keep that 50%. So we're going to pump a whole bunch of fuel over here with our fuel rats. And that's, you know, a lot of trucking, you know, vehicles, but they'll get here, they'll drop it off. And that just gives us extra, you know, to, to make more extra room to make more. Um, when this is done and the rail is done, of course, the rail has to be completed too. But once the rail is completed through here, uh, then we'll just deliver it all by train. Coming all the way out here and there we go. We'll just deliver it all by train eventually there too. Okay. Did I cover everything I needed to I think? I don't know. I mean, I know the winter's about to start. So let's double check. Six degrees, five, four, three, two. Okay, so this is a good indicator, right? Two degrees Celsius all the way over. That's what we want to see. This is a good indicator that we're going to have enough, right? Enough to heat everybody's homes because everybody's tank is nice and hot, right? So, you know, way up there. We want those these tanks to be nice and hot, right? We don't want them to be up here. That's no good. So I think we're in a good, we're good shape here. Of course, the further away from the heating plant we get, the the less hot the tank will be, right? It does lose effectiveness after distance. Um, but like the hospital, for example, it's slamming 90 and that's what we want to see. So as long as we can keep people in here and even, you know, we can use at a higher percentage too, but as long as we keep people in there, we're in good to go. We're in good shape. Uh, let's make sure that our distribution office is bringing coal. You can see this is stopped here because of this... I really need to get that electric train in here. I need to get that electric train in here, man. All right. Tell you what, let's put in. I don't like the idea of doing this. I'm going to have to put up with it for now. I don't want to do that. I was going to put another depot in, but I, I don't want to. Um, I think instead. How about we. All right, I'll make a temporary connection. It's an expensive one because it's going to have the electric tracks. Uh, and then we're going to do. I don't want to do that. It's going to mess up my entire system. The only way we're going to get a train in here, an electric train in here, is if I've got a depot on this side. I've got to have a depot in here. Yeah, it's got to happen. Okay, we're, we're, we're going to do it then. Um, going to go to here on a train depot. It needs to be a long train depot too. This needs to be a long train. Um, needs to be able to get more cars and things like that. So yeah, long train depot. And I can guess I can put it over here. I didn't really have another plan for this area. So I guess that's fine. Take this uh, road out of here real fast and put in long train depot let's say right here that's fine i guess and then you are electric so we'll go uh well that way I suppose that way and that way and then that way and that way no not going to connect there. Well, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. You'll just, you'll, it's, it's fine. This is fine. Just disconnect these two and we'll pull it back over here instead. We'll go, uh, we'll go like this instead from here to here. Yep. And then from here to there. Okay. That's going to be our electric trains depot whatever we're gonna need track building to be in here to get this done so i need to activate this 
to tell them to build this. Let's make that a high priority. And then um, I need my track builders to do this part, at least get all the way out here. So, so that I can get an electric train to get on this track. Yeah, because I, I'm, I'm running out of options here, man. I got to get this moving, all right? Don't wait for the light, just go. At least it's not holding up traffic while it's waiting. It, it should have held up foot traffic, to be honest, but it doesn't, it didn't extend all the way into here. It is blocking this road because reasons. I need this crossing to be done. <laughs> all right. Uh, we did want to look at this today for chemicals and stuff, but I think I'm going to save that for next video. We just kind of didn't quite get to it today. Um, having all the footpaths and stuff marked in, plumbing, uh, making sure everything... No, we don't need heat here, in case you're wondering. None of these buildings require heat. They're, they're factories and stuff, so they kind of produce heat. They kind of... They don't, they don't need it in the inside. They're, the factory themselves has enough heat. I don't know about the scrapping facility because that seems like a place that maybe wouldn't produce as much heat as, like, say, a processing center. But um, um, And then also we need lots of garbage collection in here as well, which I don't think I've placed nearly enough of that. So... Uh, I'll have to look at replacing that. These are all industry type things. So um, we'll probably need, probably want like full on road connections for most of these things. But we're going to put in like say one right here. And then uh, let's put in another big one. This is plastic production. So we'll put in one right here too. Uh, these are the small ones. I want the big ones. We'll have one for plastic production here. I don't know if you're going to use this. Uh, the big one, maybe we can have it. Can you share? Yeah, right here. You can share. That's good. Have one for both of yous. And then, I, again, I don't know if you're going to need a little one, but this will share as well. So we'll do that too. Uh, and then over on this side, um, this is very tight. I barely got this road in. But if I can get the... Well, I might be able to put it over here, I suppose. But the trucks can't get in here. The trucks have to be able to get in. So, tell you what, what we can do is this. We can go like this. And then we'll make this walkway. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right there. Yep, and then we'll just bring it like that. That'll hook that part up. And then, as far as industry processing goes, if we wanted to have, like, a big one, that's going to be tougher. Maybe right across the street. Not so tough after all. <laughs> Right across the street, we'll be fine. Uh, and then, yeah, so I got to do all those things. I got to put all the garbage collections and stuff, too. So maybe we get this going in 1980, but I think probably more realistically, 1981 would be more uh, more our speed on that. Um, for the fuel rats, they have one more connection left, but we're not going to bother with that because they're, they're going to deliver the fuel here instead. And so because they're delivering the fuel here, what I can do in this distribution office is we can go over and just simply buy the oil tankers here. And then uh, we'll have, let's say, big farm ones here. We'll go with, uh, uh, let's go with bright red. That seems fine. Big, big trucks. Yeah. Big trucks here. One, two, three. Should be sufficient. Uh, yeah. Yeah, three of these should be fine. And then from there, we're going to go with waste trucks. The big ones here. And let's put this as the yellow ones. One, two. So the two garbage trucks, we're going to take the uh, stuff from here. And they're going to make sure that this stays full. But they're also going to be able to bring the fertilizer over to this too. So those two garbage trucks are just responsible for making sure that all this stuff is like ready to rock with fertilizer in this area. Uh, and then the three fuel tanks will, or fuel tankers will take the fuel out of this and bring it to the gas station there, there, over here, uh, over in this area, I think there's a gas station. Uh, no, the farm itself is gonna be stocked with fuel. Uh, and then the gas station is there along with the distribution office, which needs trucks. Uh, and then we'll have a fuel station over here that I have to build yet. We'll probably put one over by the corner over here too. Uh, and maybe put one over in this area as we expand the fields out more. So, yeah, that's it. That's the plan. Those those vehicles will take care of all of that stuff. 
I'm pretty confident they will anyway. Um, it's too old right now. So just to get them in here, I think, and get them ready to go. Uh, before, probably like January or so, I'll go ahead and buy all the vehicles <clears throat> that we need through here. And uh, we're ready to farm. Everything's ready to, ready to load up. And they'll load it into here. So we're still going to need to buy crops from the border. Uh, because all these trucks are going to load it into here. Not over there. And the, the idea being that once we get the train moving and we get the track built, that train has a lot of crops to start moving and it can just start doing it. And it'll just go back and forth and it will start just emptying out this grain storage that probably by the time it's ready to go has like 10,000 crops just ready to move. That's the hope anyway. All right. We got 3.2 million rubles. <clears throat> I think we're financially good here. Yeah. Um, let's take preventative medicine. No point in having a research facility if we're not going to research. Uh, we'll take the cars for most loyal citizens over here. And then over here, we'll take fertilizing. All right. There we go. All right. I think I think we're in good shape, guys. I'm having a good time with this. I hope you guys are too. It is going to be winter. I'll probably bring you back for the winter, to be honest, just to show you how things went. Uh, but 13,500 people with a 1% unemployment rate. Still, workers are still the bottleneck, so we need our population to grow, all right? Take it easy, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Need more housing over here, don't I? Yep. Population needs to grow. You need more housing. <laughs> I'll lay that in right now.